hello and we are back on Wonderf Radio for your Wonderf Working Day. I hope you are all tuned in. Uh, remember, if you want to get involved, I'm always checking the Twitter feed at Wonderf Radio. Uh, also, my Twitter is a Miss underscore Bex underscore two. So excited really about this show. It's all really, as I said earlier, local talented people that live a very, very close, if not in Wandsworth um, and today's guest does live in Wandsworth and also I want to just really for her to introduce herself as well. Um, uh, hello, how are we doing this morning? Hi, Ivy. good morning Bex. Uh, so how can you introduce yourself for uh, the listeners as well and where you are located in Wandsworth? From um, Southfields where I have been living for 17 years so I do know Wandsworth very well. Fantastic. Um, you are and your name is? I'm Ivy Ngel and um, I was born and raised in Johor Bahru, Malaysia. Um, I came to this country 20 years ago. Lovely, fantastic. Um, you are, we don't have a live feed, but uh, Ivy said she was slightly a bit nervous, but you are coming across very well. So you can, you can relax, really. You've got, and she's got an amazing smile and I'm just really excited to have her. I can't believe you are so local and I've just found you, literally. Um, you also are not only a author, you are also a musician. I'm, um, I was a professional musician as well. Um, and now I do teach um, piano and guitar to adults and children. Fantastic. Okay, so a little bit about background from you. How did you start your, well, your writing um, journey? How did it all come about for you? I started when I was really young. When I was growing up in Malaysia, I started when I was around eight. And my mother was a school teacher. And I remember reading all the books that she used to bring home from the school where she was teaching and I've also read all the books that were already in the house. Um, I remember really enjoying um, and having the urge to put a story down. Um, it was something that I could not um, resist. So um, you say that you were from the age of, did you say eight? Wow, that's still quite a young age because I think also it's really nice to have young writers and I guess just to nurture that and your, you said your parent was a teacher so yes. I, that must have been very helpful then I, I would imagine. Moving on, so your new novel is called Heart of Glass. Mm -hmm. It's a literary thriller. It's in the crime noir genre. Okay. And it's set in um, the 1980s in Chicago and Macau. Wow. Wow. Well, the 1980s for me is, is my birthday. I'm showing my age a little bit. So that would just be... I grew be, up in the 80s. So grew up in 80s. I, I love that era. And I think it was the last of the stylish right. uh, periods of culture. Right. And I, I can I can completely agree with that as well. I mean, a lot of um, I have older um, sisters um, and a brother too, and they always say, "No, you're not you're not really an '80s baby. You're just born there, so you don't really appreciate and experience like the things that happen." But I can very vividly remember things, just symbolic things very that happened. Very exciting time yeah, mm. in music, um, in style. Um, slight brief extracts from this. Um, yes. So, Heart of Glass is a adventures of an immigrant in Chicago. Okay. Um, the main character is called Leanne and she is mixed race Chinese. She's an immigrant in Chicago's Chinatown. Um, she ran away from home at an early age at 16 because she didn't fit in. Right. Um, she's a musician and she, but by night she has been actually doing crime with her accomplice. Um, they've been drugging and stealing from rich guys um, in bars. Wow. Okay. And so when she gets offered a real job by Paolo, a businessman, mm -hmm. she jumps at it. But she didn't realize it's actually piano playing in um, a faraway place called Macau. So because she wants to come clean, she's decided to take on the challenge. Um, and when she gets there, she meets um, the New Yorker DJ, Ben. And... Um, He's convinced her that she's being ripped off by this Paolo mm. and she's being exploited because she's not from there. She's not getting paid decently. Mm -hmm. So she believes him. And Ben wants to get rid of Paolo because he knows that Paolo's rich. He's got all these assets and he wants these assets mm -hmm. so that they, he and Leanne, can cut a recording deal back in New York. 
Wow. Okay. So that that already has just taken me. I'm like literally following every word you're saying. It sounds so exciting. Um, I'm going to get people to obviously I've got a couple of questions already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a track um, and I'm going to come right back to you because I want to find out a bit about the behind the author as well. Um, and also just just if you could share a slight bit more because I'm already on my edge about this book. Sounds very interesting. Playing next on Wonder Radio, we've got a Bruno Mars, 24 Magic Gold. I hope you like. <laughs> Bruno Mars there, 24 Magic, playing on Wands of Friday for your Wandsworth working day. I am back myself, Miss Bex, with the lovely Ivy here to my left. We are talking a bit about her latest novel, uh, Heart of Glass, is, is that right? Lovely. And she was just given a nice little extract and I was trying to rein it back because it was so so thrilling and I didn't want to give too much away um but of course she has not done a spoiler because there's so much more to the, the story itself but we were just talking about how well it was, it's quite diverse as well and the culture that it represents in your book which is really important to me and also lovely to see in literacy and writing um can you tell me was that a focus that you wanted to see because we were talking about not a lot of people actually yeah. having this style of book out there in the market now Yes, I think this, um, I have actually um, looked every day just in case there was exactly the same book out there. Mm -hmm. But I can safely say there is nothing like this in the market or in the internet. It's a totally unique story. All the characters are actually um, immigrants um, at some time or other living in their second or third culture. Right. So, and, and that's great. Did you want that to... Was that something that you wanted to portray? Did you... To portray and to yeah, reflect and to on re- the sign of our times. And mm-hmm. I really... I'm interested in it myself, but I also want to promote um, culture and diversity right. in English fiction because right. I am not only not English, mm-hmm. I'm writing in my second language and I am writing about people who are underrepresented in fiction. Fantastic. Um, it's, it's always great to see. I mean, actually, I'm going to have um, an author on very shortly who um, is kind of doing exactly the same thing, trying to represent a certain type of character and um, look in, certain, in the style stories. And it's actually a children's book, but it's nice to kind of have that um, in the market. And we, we were saying that um, you recently um, launched, is it like a crowdfunding or what was it exactly? So this, this book is actually being crowdfunded with Unbound, which is an imprint of Penguin Random House. Okay. So that's the publisher I'm working with. Okay. It actually provides a platform for readers and writers. Right, lovely. That's lovely. Um, the details of that, if you don't have it to hand now, um, you, we can share a little bit later because yes. it would be nice to kind of see where everyone can kind of log on. Um, also, what would be really nice is just to kind of take it back a little bit from the yourself. You said that you started playing music from quite a young age at five, um, which is amazing. Um, you also started writing a bit. Um, a take bit me back. Than that. Yeah, so I started um, piano lessons at five, um, but I absolutely loved it and nobody made me practice. Um, from the moment I started um, learning music, right. uh, I felt that it was uh, totally natural and I r- later realized mm. I uh, am playing by ear and I have perfect pitch, but I did not realize this until I was almost an adult. Wow. So, so it took that long to kind of, from that trans really wow. yes um, yeah so I, I grew up with a lot of gospel music because I was very used to going to church and learning all all kinds of music by mm. ear figuring out How? all the harmonies mm. um, you know key changes all uh, of bass that. lines yeah mm. <laughs> all of that okay you came over here and you've been living here for four over as you said 20 years, years. Yes. um so i would imagine did you you went to did you study um writing? yes so i went to um uni here as well and mm-hmm. i um did a couple of degrees my last degree was uh, a master's in writing and ma right. which i did at middlesex university Great. um yes because i really wanted to take my writing to a professional level to name a few, but there have been a couple of awards you've won um, for the for your writing ability. Um, what's your favourite in terms of fiction and non-fiction? Do you have a favourite? Um, I definitely tend to favour um, slightly dark tales okay, um, and tales of human struggle. What would you kind of like to 
go on to next? In my next book, which I've just begun two months ago, okay, it's set in South London. And oh, Malaysia. I love it! Love it! Love yeah, it already. Okay, um, and it's about a banker. Um, he's like really a uh, loud, vulgar character. He's got a job in Singapore and he's loaded. He's got a yacht, but one day there's there's a storm and there's a shipwreck. So he's found on the beach, mm-hmm. and he's obviously he's lost everything. He's also lost his memory. Yeah. So, but when he comes to, he's now got to live the life of the man they think he is, when he's actually someone else. Oh, okay. See, this is. Do you know what? I think I could literally listen to you and um, just read a story to me. <laughs> like honestly, I've, I'm ready. Like. When you were reading the extract from your first um, novel that's out now, I was kind of like taken aback from it. Now you're listening and we're listening to this um, yeah. novel that's possibly in the making, happening very soon. I'm already kind of looking, feeling like I'm in, I'm involved in the story. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's great. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about the, the latest one um, right after the headlines. So come right back and join us on Wonder Radio for your Wonder. Uh, lastly, because there is so much that I wanted to um, discuss, but um, yeah. obviously it was such yeah. a short time. <laughs> um, what would you say you would like to be remember not just remembered as but um what would be the the highlights um of your career which is only obviously just just starting really Mm -hmm. what would you like them to remember um or take away Um, i think that um i would love them to think that i was funny Mm -hmm. um and have i think have a unique style Okay, and that reflects the people of my generation, especially. Mm -hmm. Yes, somebody who is from the third culture. Okay, but also it kind of. I'm quite one of the things I always, always try to um, run through the themes of my shows is Mm -hmm. just reaching out to um, the younger generation as well and people that can kind of relate to. um, And I feel like you're doing a tremendous job doing that at the moment with your writing, your abilities. Okay, fantastic. So there we have it. Just thinking whether there is anything else that you just want to kind of add. We're we're actually crowdfunding this book and we're doing well. We are on week five and we are 44% funded. When it's fully funded, um, the book will go into production. More, more details can be found on unbound.com slash books slash heart of glass. Lovely. So the keyword there is heart of glass, which is, of course, the story. Yeah. Again, just some really great handy tips for um, people that want to um, look into learning how to sing learning. and, ha- and yeah, how, to how, to, how to play as well. Um, yes. Yeah, because you do play. You do play a couple of instruments, don't you? Yes, I, I'm, I'm teaching and I'm playing both piano and guitar. Okay, I used lovely. to be in a band. We were playing in London. Oh, my um, goodness. At- There's more to come. <laughs> Everyone, I had no idea about this. Carry on. And the band is called Satsuma. Um, we okay. played um, sort of funky, old school, uh, two-step yeah. dance music. Okay, right. So mm-hmm. you guys need to, of course, um, details will be found um, when we uh, release the this interview as well, which is going to be on our Mixcloud account. So make sure you check out that Wonder Radio. And of course, my Mixcloud account, which is Miss Bex. Um, and so all the details, again, once again for you is Ivy Girl, I V Y N G E O W. Lovely. And you can connect with her and, of course, support her as well with her launch of the book. And I can't wait for the new one. I really can't wait. So it's in the making. Uh, a wonderful day, wonderful working day. Uh, you've been listening to myself, Miss Bex, back in a mo. DJ Cadid featuring Nikki Minaj. Do you mind playing a wonderful radio?